going to crown a champion today. Great start by all six cars. Solberg, though, is level with Ekstrom up towards turn one. Ekstrom's going to run wide. Up the inside, Kevin Hansen. Absolutely no mercy. Kevin Erickson all the way round the outside. That's an outrageous move. Kevin Erickson started the weekend into the lead from Petter Solberg. But he's not an easy target. You should have seen him at Tampo. A very similar race, and Randall could do nothing to get past the Austrian. Now he goes to the inside. Oh, he just got out of shape. And that was all going perfectly well. And then he just lost out. Through the S as they come. It's a splash. And he's back with Habsburg again. And Habsburg definitely not going as quick as he'd like. Oh, and he almost banged into the back of him at the hairpin. Got good drive there. Now he's got a chance. He comes along the back wheel of Habsburg. They're side by side as they head down towards Higgins again. This would be unbelievable if he could pull this off. Cockerton's not done either. Randall around the outside at Higgins. Has he got the drive? He's there. He's right there. They're side by side. He's got him, has he? Just about. They touch for a moment. And Habsburg won't give in. And if he's going to do it, he's going to have to go all the way round the outside. But there's the checkered flag for Sean Wins. And he's going to do it. Randall takes fourth. Oh, what a way to do it. Why did Randall finish? B4, B4. Now, man. Cheeto. Sinistra piena su dorso, subito si destra piena, 40. Si destra 4 tonda, apre piena, 60. Albirino sinistra 3 meno. Orca Truio! No, ma sei il numero 1, grande! <ride> che colpo di culo! Sinistra 3 meno. Subito si destra piena su dorso, apre adesso tranquillo però, 70. Oh! Let's go on, on go five, off they go and away we go. The BMWs will start faster, trying to come around Alan Menu. Engstler takes the lead, Portera goes by as well. But Menu holding off Sergio Hernandez and Prio and Muller and Farfus. And teammate Rob half behind him, Jörg Muller on the outside. Farfus goes through. 
And don't forget, when they come out of the second corner, oh, contact! And that's Prio in the barriers, and Jörg Muller damaged as well. Muller's lost a left front tyre, Prio's got damage on the rear. Muller's out of the race, Prio continues, it's excellent leads. And Portero, smoking up the inside, turns around rival Hernandez. Two BMW factory drivers out in the first corner. Prio's dropping down the order, seventh place at the moment, dragging the arse into the car, and that was Boardman getting sideways. Boardman's in the barriers, in front of Huff, he's gone off. Broken suspension, and he's going to have to pull off left here at Foch, get out of the way if he can make the car turn left. It's crabbing appallingly. Engsel leads from menu at the moment, as far as we've seen. We haven't seen him uh, continue. And Prio with damage on the back of the car. There is Jörg Muller heading into retirement. Broken left front suspension. Engsler across the line, or is it Menu that leads? It's Engsler still. Menu in second place. Third is Portero. Oh, and the safety car! Engsler blindsided around the blind corner, hits the safety car. Menu stops. Everybody coming in at full speed behind him. Frank Engsler is on the right hand side of the picture, so he hit it with the passenger side. Red flags will have to come out now. Engsler in the back of the safety car. Safety car stationary almost in the middle of the road. Engsler's team, well, here he is. Look, he's doing 185 kilometers now. The safety car doing, what, 40? And I'm certainly hoping that everybody inside the safety car is okay. That was a big, big impact. Here's the onboard view. Look what you see, nothing. And don't forget, Engsler is 20 meters in front of us and doing the same speed. This is greatly slowed down. <laughs> この車が<笑><笑> Yeah, look in the rear view mirror. There's an Isto Viso. He's actually managed to get some traffic between himself and Karen Chanak. Oh, and just look at that. Catherine Leg gets the car back on four wheels. Well, Rockingham's famous for its air displays, but I've never even seen the red arrows getting the crowd on their feet like that. Look at this. Takes a little bit too much curve. It hits once, twice. That launches the car right up in the air. And thankfully, the roll hoop stood up. Het is altijd een plantage uh, Slag Le Mans. Kijk eens wat een verschil. De remschijven die prachtig opgloeien. Soper tegen het Almas was dit. En langzaam begint het dan donkerder te worden rond de baan. Natuurlijk uh, wordt Le Mans gereden rond zo'n beetje de langste dag van het jaar, eind juni. En is de nacht erg kort. In tegenstelling tot de wedstrijd in uh, Daytona, waar de duisternis precies om de zes uur in gaat vallen. Tweeënhalve ronde wordt verloren met het eh, verwisselen van de vloer even later. We zien hier de strijd eh, tussen McLaren en Porsche. We hebben het dan natuurlijk over de Porsche start nummer 25. Een pikkelhard gevecht tussen Steve Sauper en Yannick Dalmas. Checkered flag lies just ahead as Buddy Lazier takes the checkered flag and wins the Indianapolis 500. Firestone's first win since 1971 and, and a crash on the finish. Big crash on the finish of the race. Salazar looks like Sam Pedri and Guerrero loses it down to the left. Comes across. Look at that. Salazar oh. literally goes under it. Like him duck. Did you see Unbelievable. Him Pat got a really dive into that corner and got a great launch. And now Davis. Oh, oh what a inside. Move. Nice move. Pat Long goes with him. Kaffir defense get a little touch there. And here comes Johnny O. Both those cars were slowed and the Cadillac is right on their bumpers. Top 10 run for Peter Cox. He's excited about this championship. He loves racing in the States. Oh, look at this. Late move by problem. Pat Long to the inside. I think Kaffer right rear tire's cut. He had that brush. You might be speaking. Yep. He is. 
Yeah, that was the brush when he defended coming through turn one. It is cut the right rear on that Magnus Racing Audi. Oh, and they throw the white. They look, timing and scoring determines lap time. And it's going to be really, really close. So white flag comes out. And they're coming up on the back of the 54 oh. of Pappas. So close and now traffic. Well, that was a close margin, just as we saw yesterday in that 50-minute mark. They decided the white flag was going to come out right on that mark. Versus yesterday, let him essentially do one more lap. Look at O'Connell. He's got to run. Davison looks to the inside. He's going to make the move. What can Pat Long do? He goes through as well. well. Pat Long up to third. Massanelli gets dropped two positions. Connell now alongside. Sellers in the mix. Here comes Ramirez. Boy, Johnny wanted through too, but there's just no room for it. But opportunistic move by Long. Oh, look at O'Connell. gets oh, to the inside. Massanelli goes straight. Sellers goes through. That's going to be a tough call. Massanelli definitely got out of his rhythm. Opened the door. O'Connell really had nowhere to go he had to kind of go for the move but then Massanelli closed down on apex a little bit here comes Perrin all right here we go last corner onto the front straight last year's champion winning round one at St. Pete the 650s from Capex in the hands of the factory driver Alvaro Perrin what a run he put on here it is at the line long swings out he got a drive but it's gonna be Davison into second with Long right there in third.